If you want to deal with affiliate marketing and you've chose Pinterest, that's a good decision. Firstly, there's a lot of people hanging around, 1 billion each month. And you know that that is something that you just have to have if you want to do affiliate marketing. And as far as affiliate marketing goes, you know what needs to be done. You have to leave the traffic to the products so you can receive the commissions. Now, of course, you can deal with digital products. You can deal with physical products, whatever you have in mind. And then you can just use Pinterest to take over the thing with the traffic, you know, because Pinterest is in a nutshell the visual search engine, all right? And that actually means that when people decide to buy something, they usually go on Pinterest and they have something which is called buyer intent, all right? That is really important for us because people are already like they made a decision to buy something. Now, all you got to do is to create a pin for yourself to gather that attraction or certain part of audience so they can click on your links. Now comes the interesting part. You have to watch out for this. Pinterest demographics. Simple Google search will do the trick. Have a look at this. 76.2% of Pinterest audiences are female and only 17.2% are male. Now we've come to the part that a lot of people hate. You got to choose a niche, all right? You have to niche down to a specific category and it has to be majorly catered to women. Only because of this. You know, if you have like 76.2% of women on one platform, you know what you got to sell. Now I know. Everyone hates this. Everyone likes, oh, finding a niche. How am I going to do that? But it's not that hard. On Pinterest, you have three main categories for women. Firstly, you've got food. And there goes all the recipes and things. Then you've got decor. And you've got hobbies. All right? So food, home decor, and some hobbies. Do it yourself things and something like that. And all you got to do now is to find the products that you are going to affiliate for. And then whenever someone uses a search engine, you have to rank for these. Now, my suggestion is that you don't pay for like these tools that will just give you the keywords, that will just give you the insights of it, because as a beginner, you don't want to spend that much money. You can do it manually, all right? This search engine is going to tell you what people are searching for. Isn't that nice? So you can just type in home decor and you will get a lot of these ideas, what people are searching for already. So they're searching for home decor ideas, home decor ideas, living room. And if you click on it, you will see people selling all sorts of things. All right. So basically they're just putting like these really nice pictures of homes. And of course, if you click on any one of these, they will redirect you to buy certain thing, you know, and because we have the buyer intent, more people are going to be more prone to just click on the button. All right. You're just making them easier to click on the link and buy something. Now, as far as the product search is going, you can choose Digistore 24. That's if you want to go with some digital products that you don't have to do much work for. Then there is also ClickBank for digital products. And of course, for physical products, I highly recommend Amazon. Amazon just has a lot of things and they've got a really good affiliate program. I'm going to mention that briefly later on, but here's what you need to know. If you want to go with home decor, Amazon is your place. All right. Or maybe Etsy.com. You can just use both. But if you want to go with food, for example, some recipes or maybe some gardening, which is also really, really good nowadays, well, you should go over to Digistore24 or ClickBank to find yourself a certain digital product that you can sell. Now, have a look at this. On Digistore24, you've got a lot of categories. And for example, if I head over to Home and Garden, I will find a lot of these kits, a lot of these guides, which can net you really, really good money. For example, have a look at this, like new the self-sufficient backyard. So this is gardening tips, do it yourself things. And if you ever sell one of these, your commission on Digistore is going to be $24. All right. So that's a pretty good commission. If you start out right now and you sell one of these each day, that's over six or $700 per month. All right. As a complete beginner. All right. So that is really powerful. Now, what I usually do is that when I find myself a certain product, I go and search for it on Pinterest to see what other people are doing. And is it actually selling? Because here's the deal. You don't want to be alone there, you know, because if you find a certain product that no one else sells, it's like counterintuitive, but it's not going to sell, you know, because no one is searching for it. And you have to find a keyword that people are searching for. So you can just place that product underneath. All right. I hope that makes sense. 
you gotta go and sell what already works. You don't wanna reinvent the wheel and sell something that no one else sells and no one else needs to buy, you know? So you have to go on a research. This will take time, this will take dedication, this is not a get rich quick scheme, so prepare for some work. So here's what I do if I would go with that gardening thing. So just type in gardening firstly and see what comes up with these pins. So for example, 14 common raised bad mistakes you must avoid. All right, and they're redirecting the traffic as you can see to their blog or something. I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna go back to see what else people are making and what people are searching for. Now these at the top, they're the mostly ranked ones. You want to learn from these, all right? So let's just take and see the patterns. For example, there is a picture of some gardening things and there is a bit of a text either in the middle, either down there. It's just like simple pattern that anyone can follow, right? Anyone can do this. And what you have to do here is that you have to take these titles first, all right? So usually it is like 20 tips, 14 mistakes, 15 foods that you can grow, 11 plants you should have, you know? So you just have to see the patterns. And then you have to think about what your product should sound like. So for example, the self-sufficient backyard, it can be tips, you know? So all we have to do now is to create a pin, which looks like some of these, you know, you can just model their success. There's nothing wrong into it. And you will plant your link there. So for this self-sufficient backyard, it's gonna be some kind of tips, gardening tips. So here's what I do usually. I just head over to canva.com, all right? You don't have to pay for Canva, you know? You can just avoid these with a pro crown. For this, you need a subscription. But for all the others, you don't have to. Have a look at this, I don't know. For example, let's take this one, or I should just take like the custom size for Pinterest pin. Let me just go like this, Pinterest type in, choose the Pinterest pins, and then just create a blank one, click here, and then all these templates, just search for garden. I'm just gonna put garden and nothing else. And of course, I'm gonna get a lot of these. Now I have the custom Pinterest pin size. That's what we need in order to just have an easier time with this one. And all we have to do now is to find something similar to those pins that we have seen there. So just spend a bit of your time, you know? It can be fun as well. Creating these pins on Canva is always fun for me. So for example, if I just choose this one, I'm just gonna move it and drag it here. And then I'm gonna change the text inside of this. So I'm just gonna go, I can, for example, leave how to grow and care for plants, but here I can just type in something like this. So complete guide for your garden. For example, something like this. I can move these dots. I don't like this here. For example, you can change the picture. You can just, for example, put your own blog side here, or you can just delete this one if you don't need it. You can write something else. Read now can be like left. And then when you're done with the design, click on the share button. And of course, click on the download button. Use PNG, it's okay, and click on download now. Now, all that is left for you is to upload the pen and put your link. And if you don't know how to do it, just click on your profile on this picture of yours, click on the plus icon here and click on the pin button. In here, you just drop that image you've created. When the image is in there, add the title. And remember, use some form of the title that you have seen that other people use, especially those at the top, all right? They rank good, so it's good. And of course, the most important part is the destination link here, which is actually your affiliate link. If you use Digistore24, it's gonna be here. So you just click on it, paste it there, and your pin is ready to go. Now, if you wanna go with Amazon route, if you wanna go with physical products, you just have to create yourself an account on Amazon's affiliate program website and then just connect that to your Pinterest account. And then of course, if you are still in the gardening niche, just go and find certain things that are related to garden. It can be gloves, you know? So everybody likes to buy gloves. You can just go with that. Or these containers for these plants or these like grow boxes, you know? There's a lot of things. You just have to be creative and let yourself into it, you know? It needs work. It needs a lot of dedication if you wanna make this work. If you wanna make it like a brief side income of your own, you don't have to work that much. But if you wanna make this into a full-time job like a lot of these people are doing, you have to just dedicate yourself and you gotta have some passion for earning that money, all right? Nothing can be done on its own. You have to dedicate yourself and you gotta be consistent with it, all right? All that traffic is just waiting for your work. 
all right? Hard work, and you'll see that this can work really, really well for anyone, all right? You don't have to be like university student in order to just grasp this. You just have to work on it and see what other people are doing, all right? So I wish you good luck. Be creative, be patient, and dedicated. I'll catch you.